it's often busy at a Booker's Butcher shop. He's been a staple in Flemington for decades, but recently his services have been needed elsewhere. We're going to go to Raganina. Tomorrow we're going to go to Dallas, the Bromador's area. A book has been supported by community groups to deliver food to hundreds of Muslims who are isolating. This is very hard. It's very hard. And what happened last time, other people was helping them. But they give the things they don't need it, you know. So for us, it's more unique. So we got the halal, everything. A few kilometres away, Anup has been supplying hot meals from her Somali restaurant. The state government is paying for some of the deliveries. Any minute they can call us, can you please provide them 50 people for, for meal and then we have to jump and, and do the, the whole thing all over again. On the other side of the city, this halal food bank, led by volunteers, has been able to supply $180,000 worth of food since the pandemic began. As soon as any form of Muslim demographic goes into lockdown, we will be called upon. As you can see, this is a massive community effort. It's a different story from last year. Now with more support, these community groups can help hundreds in isolation. Some of the families Abukur and other organisations have been helping are now out of the isolation period. They say the support is appreciated. Last year we have a real coffin. We didn't get any help, but this year we haven't got, but we was quarantined and we got help. For Abukur, helping people to isolate safely is what's important. Last year, he lost his father-in-law to COVID. Last year is a lot of our people passed away. They're gone. There's a lot of elderly people we know. So when you know the one, you part of your family, your friends, your relative passed away, it touched you. Ahmed Yusuf, ABC News, Melbourne.